What's good YouTube, it's Adam from I'm a Music Mogul and welcome to a brand new video. Today, there's a brand new update to Logic Pro for iPad, bringing it to 1.1. So let's jump into everything that's new. Kicking things off, we have a brand new tool called Mastering Assistant. You can think of it as your own personal mastering engineer that is sitting beside you and quickly adds polish and that final touch to your mixes. To bring it in, all you gotta do is open up your mixer. You're gonna go over here to setup and on your master track or your stereo track, you wanna click mastering. And just like that, the mastering assistant will start to analyze your session, and now your track is mastered. Of course, you have the option to go in and adjust things as you see fit. For the frequency balance curve over here, you can adjust things like your low, your mids, and your highs. You can adjust your dynamics. You can add saturation to add more overtones to your mix using the excite button. And within the spread section, you can increase or decrease the width of your mix. You also have four different character modes, clean, valve, punch, and transparent. Transparent is my personal favorite, but we'll take a deeper dive into Mastering Assistant in a separate video because there is a lot going on here, even though it's so easy to use. Next, we now have the option to record directly into Quick Sampler. All you have to do is go over to the recorder tab, hit record, and just like that, you record it in your sample. Now in Logic Pro for iPad, you can interact with other apps a whole lot easier. In the top part of Logic, you'll see these three dots here. If you click that, I'm gonna go to Split View and add in the Files Browser because I wanna bring in some samples. So I'm gonna go to Files over here. Now I wanna use my Files Browser because I wanna bring in a bunch of drum samples to create a quick drum kit. But for me personally, I like to work with Slide Over. So I'm gonna change this Files app over to Slide Over. I'm gonna open up my new drum kit over here. And now we have the ability to import in multiple samples at once, whether you're creating drum kits or just bringing in stems from another session, it's super easy. So I'm gonna get these three dots right on top here. I'm going to go to select, and I'm just going to hover my screen, sorry, hover my finger over all these files just like that. And then over on Logic, I'm gonna slide this up to give myself some empty space down here. I'm gonna hold these files, drag it into this gray area right here, release, and just like that, we've imported in multiple samples at once to create a drum kit. Next, if you're anything like me, you always are constantly running through different patches and samples. Now in Logic Pro, it is a whole lot easier to find that perfect sound a whole lot quicker. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up my library here. I'm gonna go to, this works across the board, so we can go to samples or patches. And watch what happens when I drag my finger along the screen. You can quickly browse patches and samples like that just by dragging your finger down the side there. Now, in Logic Pro 1.1, you are able to record audio in 32-bit float mode. To change that, just hit these three dots in the top right-hand corner, go to Settings, go to Recording, and change your bit depth to 32-bit float. Also, with the new update comes new sound packs. You get hybrid textures and Vox Melodics. There's also a brand new lessons page where you can learn the ins and outs of Logic Pro for iPad, including the new tool, Mastering Assistant. So that's what's new for Logic Pro for iPad. If you do have any questions on this, you can go chat in the comments below. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you on the next one. Later. Peace.